lovelies. I hope you're all well. So overnight, Design Space has had an update. Super exciting. There's some great changes and we're going to go through those. So when you first come into Design Space after an update like this, normally there's a walkthrough tutorial. Now, if for some reason it doesn't pop up or you want to go through it again, which is what we're going to do, you can easily find the walkthrough. So if you just come to the top of your canvas and you click on your little menu buttons and you come down to new features, it will give you the latest walkthrough. So it's always handy to know that you can find those. So it says, heads up, we've moved key features like cut, draw and print. Let's get you orientated. Orientated, oriented, oriented, oriented. Is that a word? I'm sure it is a word. I'd have said orientated. I don't know actually. Anyway, let's not get stuck on words. Show me. Same features, new location. From now on, you'll change the line type and fill of an object from the edit toolbar. Let's do it together so we can go to get started. So whereas before we would click on our um, object in our layers panel and we could change whether it's a draw, a cut, a print or a score, that's now changed. It's all up here in the toolbar. So we've inserted this shape onto the canvas. Notice it has a line type of draw and no fill. Go ahead and click on the layer titled circle. Perfect. With the layer active, we can now change the line type of the object. Go ahead and click on the drop down menu. So we can change it to cut, draw or score. So we're going to select cut. You did it. It's really that easy to change a line type. Now let's practice using fill to apply a print and cut pattern to an object. So let's go. Click on the drop down arrow to reveal fill options from the selected object. So we can choose no fill or print. So we're going to choose print. OK, now click on the swatch to change the attributes of this print fill. So you can see we've got our basic colors here. We've also got advanced colors, which we'll look at when we're out of the walkthrough. So we're going to change the print type from a color to a pattern. So this is the pattern fill. I've done lots of tutorials on pattern fill. I love using the pattern fill. So Design Space has got lots of preloaded patterns, both access and paid, and you can upload your own patterns as well. Now the upload feature is exactly the same for pattern fill. So where we used to go to upload and we would upload a pattern, that has not changed, it's exactly the same. So we can then click on our first pattern, and it says looks great. Now you know how to edit both line type and fill for any object on your canvas. Nice work. There's a little bit more to this though. So I'm going to go through the changes a bit more detailed. So let's just go and get a shape and let's just get a triangle to begin with. So our layers panel still has group, ungroup, duplicate, delete, slice, weld, attach, flatten and contour. You can still do all of that. The thing is, when you now click on your item, the only thing you can do from the layers panel is actually decide whether you want it visible or you want it hidden. So that's the only thing you can do from the layers panel when you physically click on your item. So if we come over to our toolbar, you'll see we've got line type. So it's currently on cut. You'll see next to the line type, there is a little uh, square. At the moment it's gray. Let's click on that and you'll see it comes up with the colors. So if we had layers and we wanted to put them all on different mats in different colors, this is where you're going to come to be able to change your colors. They've also got advanced colors as well. So you can come in and you can really play with those. They really come into their own if you are doing something like a flatten, which we're going to look at because that has changed slightly as well. But I'm going to go through that in a moment. I want to kind of go through the basics first and then we'll look at how things like flatten may have changed. So it's currently set to cut. Let's change it to draw. So it's now changed it to draw. So we can click on our little box. 
So you don't need to change the color of your pens. You just put your pen in. But you can see that they've got all the color pens there. You can also say whether it's going to be a fine point, an extra fine point, a gel, a glitter, a marker. So you can change the actual pen type as well through clicking on that little box. From a draw, we can then change it to a score. So nice and easy, quite simple. Let's go and change it back to a cut. So let's say we wanted to do a print and cut. So if we come over to then fill, so it's currently got no fill. So if we then click on the drop down, we can then choose print. Again, we've got the little gray box. So if we click on that, and you've got a choice between color and pattern. So for the moment, we're just going to work with color. So we can just change our basic color shapes. And again, there's an advanced color drop down menu as well. And of course, we've got the pattern fill feature. If you don't know how to use this, as I say, there are so many tutorials on this channel using pattern fill, but it's nice and simple. Let's just click on that one. And that would then print and cut using the pattern fill. So let's say you change your mind, you actually don't want it to print now. So if we just click on our fill and we go to no fill, you'll see it changes it from a print and cut to just a cut. So if, for example, you change your mind, you would just come up here and you would just change it to no fill. So I just want to show you in terms of, for example, flatten how that's changed. So let's just change the color on this. Let's just change it to that. And we're going to get another shape. So let's just get a star. We can bring our star into our triangle. Again, I just want to change the color on that. There we go. So I'm going to highlight both of them. And of course, our flatten button becomes available. So let's click on flatten. So what would happen with the flatten is it would print this as it is, but it would only cut out the triangle. If I then go to unflatten, you'll see that whilst it's unflattened, they are still both print and cut. So again, if I wanted to unflatten them so that they were just a cut, it's not automatically going to do that. So we're going to come across the fill and we're just going to click on no fill. And you'll see that's changed the triangle back to a cut. The star is still at a print and cut. So again, if we go to fill, Go on the drop down menu and click no fill. It's gone back to a solid cut. So let's go and grab an image. So I've just got this squirrel here so we can insert images. So you can see that they are all grouped at the moment. So we're just going to ungroup those. And of course, we can come in and we can change it. So let's say I wanted to change the color. I can easily change the color there. Let's say I wanted it to be a print, so I can change that to a print, so it's going to print and cut. And of course, if I wanted to change the color, I then could, and I could add a pattern fill into it if I wanted to. So those are your big changes for the latest update, but there are some other changes as well, and those I am really excited about. Something that I am super excited about is they have changed some of the weights and the thicknesses. So they've changed them so that they're easier to understand. So whereas before, for example, it was Basswood 116, they've now actually put Basswood 116 and then they've put it into millimeters. The same with cardstock, where it was, say, 80 pounds, it still says 80 pounds, but it's also got GSM. So it's got 216 GSM. This is going to make life so much easier for a lot of people. So medium cardstock at 80 pounds, it then is 216 GSM. Light cardstock at 60 pounds is 163 GSM and copy paper at 20 pounds is 75 GSM. I just think it makes life a lot, lot easier in terms of working out your cut settings. So if we go to browse all materials, we can have a closer look. So again, we've got light cardstock and medium cardstock and you can see the GSM for those. 
They've also added some more leathers in here. So whereas before it was kind of faux leather, faux suede, genuine leather, metallic leather, they've now gone a little bit more detailed and they've also added in the millimeters with those as well. So again, with paper, we can see copy paper at 75 GSM, foil paper at 0.36 millimeters, heavy watercolor paper, so 140 pounds or 300 GSM. With the woods, they've changed that as well. So Balsa 116, they've put 1.6 millimeters. Balsa 332 is 2.4 millimeters. Basswood 116 is 1.6 millimeters. And Basswood 132 is 0.8 millimeters. So for example, when you go into Hobbycraft or you know local wood store or whatever, you can now search for it in millimeters because they don't always have them as 116 or 332. So it can be a little bit difficult to try and work it out. And Google was my friend for that. But that is now all written down there for you. So, so much easier. So those are our changes for design space. I think that for me, it's got to be the fact that they've added the uh, GSM weights and they've also added the millimeters for the thickness of things. I just think that that is amazing. It's really fantastic. It is going to make such a difference.